Okay, so you've all seen what's in there, right? By now. But what you haven't seen is what comes out of there. And that's things like this. So back in January, I got a message on Instagram from Christy at Oak Hill Millworks letting me know of a maker collab competition that her and Nick from Stated Woods was putting on. And after looking at the rules and what it was about, I knew that there was one person that I wanted to take on this competition with and work with, and that was my friend Johnny. Door's locked. Dude! How you doing? How's it going? Johnny and I have been friends for 15, 20 years. One of those friendships that you don't even know when it started, but it just feels like it's always been there. He's a maker, a builder, works in cabinetry and construction and makes all kinds of weird and cool and wild things. Him and I have always wanted to make a thing together. These nuts. <laughs> but we've never had the reason, the opportunity. So enter the maker collab. So we should be working on the Maker Collab. But we're not. This is an idea. We're eating Twizzlers. And Johnny wants to use a lathe. Can we use a lathe? And Johnny wants to make a mushroom. This competition is a worldwide contest for teams of two makers to make a thing. Oh no. <laughs> With the topic of this year being innovation. So, what does it mean to be innovative? To us, that's a pretty broad it's a pretty broad statement. You can be innovative about a lot of things. You can redesign something that's already existed. You can make something new. Innovation is one of those things that doesn't come from a room. Sometimes it comes from a room. But the room is not the thing that's innovative or creates innovation. It's the people. It's the conversations. It's how you collaborate and work together to solve a problem to come up with a new idea for something that maybe already exists. Explain yourself. Vacuum hose over the table, not in my way. <laughs> <laughs> we need to come up with an idea of what we wanted to make. So, so I'll tell you a story. So everybody has probably been in this situation where you are playing a game and mm -hmm. then it's dinner time and you need to <laughs> game with try and put the game away. I actually have this problem all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so what are you doing to solve it? So, so we are making we are making a game table. So as part of the collaborative process and trying to figure out how to be innovative. There's nothing to say that we can't use our one photo and video angles and cheat. <laughs> yeah, we just need to submit one photo. Like I'll just spend two months in Photoshop. Nice. <laughs> But we didn't just want a game table where you lifted off a piece and you took it and you put it in the corner because that's not innovative. That's been done. That's been done to death. Uh, nor did we want a table that, you know, maybe something slid out of the way and was really cool, but you're playing in a pit. Who wants to play in a pit? Unless you're playing craps. Seven away. I don't think there's any reason to be playing a game in a sunken pit, so. This one's for you. 
Two, press. All right, if you're playing a board game, you want it up on the table, level with the playing surface. On the truth on this, will it not go further? So those were the two big things that we needed to be innovative about. We wanted every piece of this table to have a purpose, a function, a reason to be there. Nothing is wasted. And I think we did that, or at least we came close. And the second thing was it needed to be pretty. It couldn't just be slapped together and just this, here's a thing. Yeah, it's neat, it's nice, it does something cool, but if it's not pretty, it's not worth it. Because both Johnny and I like pretty wood. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Which is why we decided to make this thing out of walnut and acacia. With all of that out of the way, let me show you how this thing works. So the first thing you gotta do is you have to remove this little button. So unfortunately, this system is an iris. And every iris needs a pupil. So the little button is our pupil and we just couldn't get around that. It was kind of unfortunate that, like I said, how we almost got away with not having an extra piece. Well, we couldn't get away from having an extra piece. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna lift up the one side and it's gonna ka chunk -a chunk in place. A ka chunk -a chunk That is the technical name. They are ka chunk -a chunks Get it right. Then you can lift up the other side, just like that. With those out of the way, you can slide open four leaves, eight leaves, all the leaves. Oh, it's, oh my god! It's a thing! It's a thing. It's pretty cool. Now with those out of the way, all you have to do is... Uh... Crank. Hmm. But wait. What if every piece did have a purpose? What if, what if every piece had a function? It's a key. How cool is that? So there you go. What do you think of our innovation? Nice red and black, leather top game surface. Ooh, what was this gonna be for? It was pretty, so I bought it. Can we? You wanna do this one? Yeah, that's great. Like, look at this grain matching all the way through. And the fact that if you stand on this side, this side is light, that side is dark. But when you come around, this side is light. Now it's a little light, but that side's now dark. It's weird. It color changes as you walk around it. I didn't know Acacia did this, but apparently it does. And a pedestal that can handle four inches. Four inches of game inside of it. It's probably good this is a wooden game. Oh my. I couldn't be happier with the way that this turned out. Dude, it's a thing! I can't believe we pulled this shit. It was a three month long project that was really difficult. Realization time. I just realized it's gonna move. Fuck. Right? Yes. Yes. Uh, Johnny lives about three hours away. I'm in Calgary. He's in Edmonton. 
He made the trip down only two times for this project. Come sit with me. Oh, come and sit at this glorious table. He came down once and brought the pedestal and the interior components for this lifting mechanism. My brother, first thing that he asked when I was describing this is, why didn't you make it go up and down electric? And the second time he came down with welded steel legs. We have legs. Do you want the legs first? We have legs. We have bars. This has nothing that to do has with That has nothing it. to do with the project. We confuse people. But we have legs. They look so small, but it's gonna be right. But it looks so small. But if it was bigger, it would be twice as heavy. He pretty much took care of the bottom half of this project. I took care of the top half. Kind of the concept. So now we'll sit till tomorrow. We had weekly project management meetings to make sure that we were staying on track. It just goes. It just goes. It just goes. Nice, those are cool. I love it, I think it's a grand solution. I think Sweet. it's brilliant. Cool. And that we were continuing with that essence of collaboration, of talking, of discussing, What's going on? Show and tell. Can I get my show and tell part? Yes. Sorry, this was a lot of this was a lot of me. How are things going? A dude. Hey, how you doing? Really good. Nice. Re re really good. Don't be mad, but really good. I'm not at all mad. If we can get rid of the push rods in, uh, we can get rid of push rods. Everything that I did last night on the lathe is for naught, and it's gonna all be done again. That's what you get for the push rod debacle last time. How much time did I spend working on those push rods? Lots we're, of time. We're not using and the push rods. Away. That's fine. fine. You can take them home. They're over there. I don't want them. Well, you can take them with you. For yeah. you can hang them up in your house so you can be happy about the push rods. Trauma. Push rod trauma. And. At the end of the day, I couldn't be happier. So there you go. This is our game table. This is what we feel is a innovative product, an innovative project that was inspired by collaboration. This project has been my life for the last three months, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. It is, it is so meaningful to me that I got to make something finally with one of my best friends. Those things to take an original idea, a concept, a drawing, and run through all of the phases of testing and engineering and prototyping, and issues and problems and failures along the way. There's so many failures. <coughs> Fuck. Uh, of course. Oh, I fucked up. That's our center line. That's our gap. I kind of broke. Like a chunk, a chunk. It just broke. I just broke it. I just broke it because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Stop bitching and fix it. Let's go. Spending late nights. It's 11 o'clock. One more corner. I was up until two in the morning last night, finishing the last piece because I had to get it done. Holy fuck. It's done. Done! Ah
we got to turn a picture and an idea and an original concept that doesn't exist in all of these forms anywhere else. Because that is what this competition is about. The theme is innovation. So what do you find innovative? Maybe. I hope so. So thank you so much for your support in watching this video and hopefully coming out to vote. If it's not too late, if it's too late, then come check out and see if we won. Or who won? Because whoever wins really is innovative and inspiring. And maybe there's someone that you'd like to check out their work. Come support some local makers or some international makers or some makers that you've never heard of before. Maybe you'll make a new friend. Because I know I've made a lot already out of this competition alone. And I can't be more thankful and grateful for those connections and those relationships. So thank you to the Maker Collab. Thank you to Christy and Nick and Johnny. Couldn't have done it without him. And I really wish that he was here to make this video with me because he is, he's a rock star. <laughs> this is what happens when you invite guests into your shop, I guess. That's <laughs> what I'm dealing with. Never collaborating again. <laughs> Man, now I gotta put this thing away. There we go. Sometimes it needs a wiggle. Man, final piece. Is it, is it enough of an M? <laughs> Can you stop now? <laughs> oh, that, in. that doesn't have to stay in. <laughs> stay in. <laughs> uh. Shit. Oh no. Um. I don't do well with cameras. <laughs>